Now that we've talked about the structure and functionality, the key methods, and some example applications of Java stamp block, we'll take a look at some of the usage considerations to apply it effectively in practice. This will also give us a chance to compare and contrast stamp block with other popular Java synchronizers we've considered, including reentrant read write lock. Stamp lock turns out to be faster, often much faster, than reentrant read write lock. Here are some results from a benchmark that appeared in the link at the bottom of this slide. In this benchmark, there were 19 reader threads and one writer thread. This would be an example where you'd benefit from having readers writer locks. If you take a look at the results here, we can see that the optimistic read mode supported by stamp lock works very well in the case where there's little or no contention, as is the case with our 19 readers and one writer. In contrast, you can see that reentrant read write lock is very slow by comparison. Uh, in fact, it looks like it's basically two orders of magnitude slower, so that's really slow. You can also see that the optimistic mode is faster than synchronized, just synchronized blocks or synchronized methods, and it's also uh, faster than using stamp lock with read mode, which is the pessimistic mode. Note that stamp lock with the pessimistic mode is also faster than reentrant read write lock. So reentrant read -like, write lock is just a loss, even in the case where you've got sort of the best scenario for readers writer locks. Naturally, your performance may vary. So here's another example. This example also comes from the same location as the previous one. And in this case, we have 10 readers and 10 writers. So this is more balanced than the uh, earlier version, which had quite a lot more readers than writers. In this case, you can see it's, the results are a little interesting. Note how optimistic mode doesn't work as well with more contention, because you end up having to kind of back off and try again if there's contention. Once again, however, reentrant read write lock is much, much slower. Uh, and also, you can see how both stamped lock and synchronized also perform very well. They perform better, in fact, than the optimistic model. As a general rule of thumb, reader writer lock speedups are only fully realized under certain conditions. You need to have a lot more reads than writes, ideally many, many more reads than writes. Typically, the read operation should be non-trivial. You should spend some time doing the reads, otherwise locking costs may dominate. You'd like to have uh, many concurrent readers and only a handful of writers. And it's also, of course, a benefit to have lots and lots of cores. As another rule of thumb, even though stamp lock performs better than reentrant read write lock, it tends to be somewhat complicated to use. There are many more methods to be aware of in the stamped lock class than the reentrant read write lock class. The usage patterns and semantics are much more intricate. For example, trying to do the conditional writes and lock upgrades are somewhat tricky to program. You have to think carefully about how they work. Another thing to remember is that the invariants can be very tricky with optimistic read locks because of the fact that they don't really hold locks uh, in, in the optimistic case. So here's an example where we're going to go ahead and create a stamp lock to protect two fields. These fields are going to want to establish an invariant. We want mx to be 0 initially and my to be 1. And we'd like to have this invariant that mx equals my minus 1. So if you take a look, you can see in thread T1, we have a loop where we're going to acquire a write lock, update the state of MX, update the state of MY, and release the lock. And then down here, you can see that we try to do the optimistic read. But because of the fact that we don't actually acquire a true lock here, the, it re the invariant may not hold. So it may turn out that the read of X and Y may be reordered and therefore, the invariant may not always hold. So take a look at the link at the bottom for more information about this particularly strange use case. Another consideration with stamp lock is it's non-reentrant. So you can't use it in code that has callbacks. We have to reacquire the lock more than once. However, all things being equal, 
it's usually the best choice for readers, writer locks in Java 8 and beyond to use stamped lock, despite its complexity and its lack of reentrant semantics. So that concludes our discussion of stamped lock. Hopefully you have a better understanding now of what read-write locks are. You have a better understanding of reentrant read-write lock in Java and some of its limitations. And hopefully you also understand much better about Java stamped lock, both in terms of the features it provides and why it's an improvement over reentrant read-write lock.